It has been a great three weeks in Canada. Today we are leaving and we are so excited about going back to Asia. But we have a very long travel day ahead of us. First we have to drive from Canmore to Calgary. Then we have to Uber to the airport. And then we have to fly from Calgary to San Francisco. Okay. Then we fly 16 hours from San Francisco to Singapore. <laughs> and once we get to Singapore, that's not even our end destination. Okay, let's do this. Domestic? Uh, international. International. Thank you very much. Okay, we have made it to the airport. Uh, three, oh, three and a half hours early. There's a really good lounge here. <laughs> Everything is so shiny. It's really quiet. I think that was the easiest check-in we've ever had at an airport. I still feel like I need to whisper in here. It's like a library. So weird. The last two people we've talked to in Canada in the last 30 minutes have been like, what do you do for a living? How much money do you make? Since nobody was at the airport, security took like two seconds and now we have three hours to spend in this really nice lounge. I'm way too excited about this. We haven't eaten today. This girl's hungry. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. This lounge is beautiful. Time to eat. How's the soup? Actually really good for soup. <laughs> Let me show you why I like lounges so much. Salads, breads, cupcakes, rice and veggies, grilled chicken, snacks, soup, brownies, more cake, beer, spirits, juices, soft drinks, and a coffee machine. I'm so impressed with So today we're flying from Calgary to Singapore in United Economy Class, which does absolutely nothing to help us get access into this lounge. So we're using our Priority Pass membership, which lets us get free, unlimited lounge access to over a thousand airport lounges around the world. But the best part about the Priority Pass is that it was completely free when we signed up for the Chase Sapphire Reserve credit card. Now I'm not going to go into all of the details and the benefits that like come with this card in this video, but I have started writing a lot more about credit cards and travel hacking and all the stuff that we use in order to either travel cheaper or travel more luxuriously than we would be willing to pay for like this lounge uh, i've been writing about all of that over on the blog so i'll leave some links below for anybody that lives in the u.s who might find that interesting thank you thank you Bye. almost finished all my work we're so close. Thank you. We didn't even do that. We only started boarding two minutes ago. Everybody calling our names. This is crazy. Yeah, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Just <laughs> leave early. How does this always happen? The one time we're almost on time, the plane's leaving early. I mean, we are like the only ones left. I was expecting there to be two people on this plane.
have all personal belongings before you exit the aircraft and be careful when opening overhead compartments. Three hours later, we made it to San Francisco. My first time in California. We don't count places if we don't leave the airport, even if it's in the U.S. No, I definitely am not going to now say that I'm in California. Like, I haven't even been to the airport in California. I'm so Welcome excited. to California. Hey. Yes, we have two hours in this Centurion Lounge, our favorite American lounge. By American, she means domestic. No surprise that this lounge is just as awesome as all the other locations. A full buffet by a professional chef, an unlimited full bar, freshly baked cookies, a shower. It's awesome. But this one has a special feature that the other ones don't have. Because we're in California, they have a wall of Californian wines, and they give you one of these tickets, and if you scan it, it lets you taste five of the 18 wines that they have right here. And he said that if you wanted more tickets, you would give us some more. So we can do a wine tasting. and we are boarding our flight to Singapore. It is supposed to be between 16 and 17 hours long, which makes it our longest flight that we've ever taken. This is so crazy. We have so many movies to watch. Goodbye, America. It was a great two hours. I'll miss you. At this remote this evening, we will be starting one engine on the gate um, and then pushing back and starting the other engine on the alleyway. So take a few more minutes for the uh, pushback and engine start process. We do appreciate your patience. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Welcome on board. Oxygen mask will drop from above your seat. If the staff appears, Arrival. We are passing out documents. Everyone must make this declaration for entry unless you have an immediate connection to another country or if you are a resident of Singapore. Longest flight ever. We did it. Thanks for letting me sleep on your shoulder for so many hours. <laughs> it is 6.30 a.m. I'm pretty good. <laughs> I'm feeling surprisingly good for 16 hours. Do we look rough? Because I, <laughs> I feel pretty good right now. I'm sure we'll <laughs> crash shortly after this, but like, yeah, surprisingly good for 16 hours in the air. The and weak airport airplane coffee, I don't think is, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> I don't think is working for me. I'm sorry there wasn't very much footage on that flight. We literally just like followed the shadow of the sun around the world. So we just lived in darkness for 16 hours. Okay, so the end destination for this trip is not Singapore. It's actually Chiang Mai, but we've ended up deciding to spend a night here in the city and we'll explain that in the next video. I feel like I spoke for myself when I said we're feeling pretty good after 16 <laughs> hours. Just need to get some coffee. Okay, we weren't going to include this in this vlog, but we're trying to find the arrival sound before we take the train into the city. And we were walking on this <laughs> floor and we were both like, we've done this before. This floor is awesome. We just started having flashbacks to walking through this airport in the middle of the night. It's now 2.30 in the morning. Kara hasn't slept at all. So if this vlog starts off weird, <laughs> I'm sorry. Looking comfy. Yes. Crossing our fingers and praying that there was some kind of lounge that we could sleep in for a few hours so that we didn't have to pay for a hotel. Where are we going right now? To Terminal 3. Why? For a potential lounge opportunity. I just remember being so nervous that there wasn't going to be a lounge and then there was. So maybe there will be one today. There's just like something inside of me right now that is just so happy to be here. And I yeah. think that's what it is, is it's just like 
those old, like very early travel day memories. This is our bed for the night. Those were some good days. I'm right. excited we get to relive a few of them. <laughs> So we're hoping the lounge is open now because it is uh, 7.30, so we still have quite a while until we can check into our room. We have that coffee. <laughs> Look how cool this floor is. Do you remember the edit we did here? Took a risk. Glad nobody stole the camera. <laughs> I also remember laughing at the name of this restaurant three years ago, and I still think it's funny. <laughs> This will totally be the cover photo of the vlog. We made it! Oh, I just like punched this thing, sorry. <laughs> it was dark the entire time, but it was great for movies. <laughs> I watched three. And kind of good for sleeping, except when I first fell asleep for like two or three hours, I was having this dream that I was in the car and I'd fallen asleep and I woke up and my neck was just killing me when I was like up and awake and then I actually woke up and realized that I was having that dream because my neck was hurting so bad the way I was sleeping inside the plane. I was pretty cozy the whole time I slept. 